All right, I love this guy. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 221 pounds, the world champion, MJF. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. He may not be defending the championship tonight, but his pride is always on the line. And his opponent from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ace Austin. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. So extreme rules are now in effect in this way. Anything goes from here on out. That's right, Cole. If these superstars can dream it, they are absolutely free to do it. There's nothing standing in the way of their most ambitious and sadistic imaginings. Ooh, real European uppercut. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Answering back. He's just feeding off it more. Coming in hot. He's taking this to the floor now. Caught square by the haymaker. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. And now the pressure is mounting on him. He's going to reinvent the cover. No early kick out. He is still very much in this. Uh-oh. Double leg takedown, step through, looking for a submission here. Legs are locked up. Uh-oh. Face first. Dodges out of the way. Drop kick. Hits the mark. Ooh. He's able to sidestep there. Got a disturbing impact. Clearly waiting for that. He has truly gone into a different zone, you guys. Can't quite get him there. Standing jack kick. Great ups. 
He's taking some good hits. Into the ring again. Oh, the stomping impact. Oh, got it. My left sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. A sledgehammer, how do you recover from that? And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Control. Yeah, he's being faced with a lot of adversity right now. No way! A slingshot cross body! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the perfect time to attack when his guard is down. God, I wonder what he's thinking about when he sets it up here. He gets back into the ring. And now getting the ladder in place on the ring apron. And don't sleep on how dangerous a spot that is for a ladder. I wonder what he's thinking about when he sets it up here. Taking it outside the ring now. He's back into the ring. to reach a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. Strong kick. My goodness. Lining up something big. What are we going to see? place for him to be right now. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. And this match will head back to the ring. I am the counter. Oh, right to the ladder. I don't know how stable that looks, Michael. He's going for it all. for this next stretch. Oh, kick right in the face. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. He'll head to the ring. Oh, what's this all about, Corey? I think we're about to find out. Up the ladder goes.
He returns to the ring. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. Showing them what superiority really looks like. Returning to the ring now. Oh, close line. Land the elbow. Big. Superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Looking like a little stunned now. Days confused and more. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Climbs back inside. Slingshot. Does he not want to win? He's in a bad way now, guys. He's a sitting duck, Michael. He's got to get away from that ladder. I don't know. I'm looking forward to what might happen. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. The wrong way. Looking to set him up for something. He steps foot in the ring again. On the way to the top of the ladder. Oh, it doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. and slowed it down with the back elbow.
matchup underway. Oh, the referee, the official's down. And these two don't care at all. What, what about the official? Someone check on him, please. Someone's going to get seriously hurt if this continues like this. These two are going to tear each other apart. Yeah, I love it. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you've got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. I don't know if he'd ever even consider the strategy, but if Kane can just keep his cool here and maintain his patience, he could have this one in the bag. Keeping cool and patient, huh? Have you met Kane? Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table! Uh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not gonna be pretty! I don't wanna see this happen. Whip back into the ring. Kane with some good timing here. Kick to the gut. Right the around into a neck breaker. Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. He's looking a little off balance. potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. And that move might have crossed the line. Quick return to the ring. Favorite demon. 
Disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How? Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost, which they just did, mind you. And to that, I say kudos. She calls herself the young veteran. Out of fire. A woman with plenty of accolades, and she's just getting started. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, the Alliance All Star Women's World Champion, Alba. In nearly every major women's division, the longest reigning NXT UK women's champion. She calls herself the forever champion, and she has indeed earned that moniker. A woman descended from generations of warriors. Fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. Coming 
talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. Australia, Indy Hartwell. Pretty cool fact here. Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Yeah. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. So here we go, extreme rules, basically anything goes. You can win by pinfall or submission. Every hold, every surface, every object in the arena is all fair game for these combats. Oh, man. On the attack from behind, textbook neckbreaker. Hey, never saw it coming. If you can't find the defense for this. In this type of match, Byron, how does a superstar combat against the fact that they could fall victim to a vicious and hellacious attack? Well, the difficult part is once an opponent gets the upper hand, you have to stop the onslaught yourself. There are no rope breaks, no five counts. Well, the referee's truly only there to count pinball attempts and check to see if a combatant submits. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. The fatigue is setting in for her. And this is as much a dare as it is a statement. Just waving that bat in her opponent's face. Oh, man. Oh, India avoids contact. Oh, just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Positioning it in on the ring apron now. With the ladder right there, I'll tell you, bad things can happen. Right, she re-enters the ring now. you want to be from the top she was clearly waiting for that jumping neck breaker out oh, 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 nothing fancy about that indy is in his days this could be over soon a oh, submission the gory special Think about all the pain she's in right now. Tap out! No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. The WWE Universe always says they want tables. It looks like she's giving them what they want. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Setting foot in the ring now. She's going up. Top rope here. Oh, look out. Big miss right there. Ooh, back elbow puts a stop to things. This could be dangerous, guys. Without a doubt. Fire scaling the turnbuckles.
outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. This is not gonna end well by any means. Face first into the ladder. All right, she's back in, ready to go. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Right to the kidneys from behind. She's beginning to flag a little. Alba shifts that to her favor. Alba fire with the goalie bar. She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. Getting back into the ring. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Complete shot. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Looking for the Hurricane Rana. It got caught by an uppercut. Straight into the barricade. She's looking to go big with this one. This could change the whole match. And back into the ring she goes. From the heavens. Oh, my God. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. It was just a matter of time. She had nowhere to go.
Here comes trouble. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 611 pounds, the Alliance Wrestling World Tag Team Champions. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. The WWE Universe on their feet. And their opponents at a combined weight of 429 pounds. My sources tell me that the entire tag team division is watching this one backstage. That's how important this match is. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oh my God! What an inverted Frankensteiner! Just whiplash impact right to the head on that one. Drop kick! He steers clear of contact. Anybody. He is looking to do some serious harm. He is getting rid of the turn. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Red. Uh oh. And he's able to reverse. Huge boom. Tag. Uh-oh, sets him up. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Turning the tables there. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Solid punch. He deflects it right back. Dominating shoulder tackle. He's struggling a bit here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Take 
takeover. Slowing down the pace. Tremendous pressure applied. This is making me nervous. Oh, on the apron. Drop kick all the way to the floor. This is going to be an all-out war. These two won't even wait for the opening bell. The official desperately trying to, trying to separate these two, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. Well, tensions have already boiled over. We haven't even had the bell yet. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. It's obvious the issues between these two are so deeply personal. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. I just cannot believe the referee is actually allowing this match to continue. Oh, Byron, these superstars are all adults, and the referee isn't there to play counselor. The referee's there to officiate this match. You don't have to like it, but this match is going to happen. Forced out of the ring. And loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Oh, two. Bang! Vicious boot. Three. And what's he looking for here? Four. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Seven. They need to get back into the ring. 
He caught. Uh oh. Thunderous power bomb. He's got his best opportunity right in front of him. tonight none of these competitors were giving an inch in this one a moment of pride here beating the odds and coming out on top i'm sure the whole wwe universe is a little in shock right now So much bad blood here. Wasted a little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. And these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. Finally, this match is officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high, as evidence of the way this match started. Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. Just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there is no more holding back. Ricochet loves a quick pace, Corey. How does one combat against that? That pace can cause Ricochet to get overzealous at times. So maybe baiting him to miss an aerial maneuver can open up an opportunity to cause damage. Jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Able to evade. It's the dog snap suplex so quick. Uh-oh. This is unique. Oh, backpack face buster. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Holy meet the barricade. You gotta be kidding me. Just crashing down with high impact. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes! Oh, ouch! Into the corner. This can't be good. Uh-oh. Back and forth. Up and over. The pendulum beginning to shift. Boom! This superstar is something else. Shining Wizard action. And the Bulldog. You hear the talk in the locker room. The anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been... Oh, this could be something. Oh, oh. Fitch is into the face. 
Ricochet fell that one big time. He's kept Ricochet down. Might keep him down permanently. That is not going to be... Uh-oh. Athletic dodge from Ricochet. Some of his win now. Breaker. Look out! Various oh, to pain. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Oh. Spinning in the face of danger. Vertigo. from Ricochet. Just relentless yep. attacks from Ricochet. Superstar is showing signs of backing down. We are seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a pivotal mistake. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Will that be it? Will that be enough? That's how you take down an opponent. That's certainly one way of looking at it. It is true they did whatever they had to do to get the win. Look, when victory's on the line, you don't stop to think. You do whatever you have to do to make sure things go your way. And I guess throwing fair play right out the window just happened to be the best they could come up with. That's right. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 236 pounds, John Max Lee. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. And his opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 205 pounds, Chris Saban. This puppy dog loyalty from this superstar has to go away. It's become a detriment. There's nothing wrong with having people you can trust in this business and being someone others can trust, too. Woof, woof. Spoken like a true puppy dog, Saxton.
He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. This is the one type of match where any and all rules go out the window. Well, there's a reason they named a premium live event after this type of match, Cole. The type of mayhem in an extreme rules match deserves the biggest possible stage. Double axe handle. Ooh. Said just because the match allows it. Do what you have to do to succeed, but don't do something you'll regret just because it's extreme rules. Be smart. Look out for Big time risk. He's off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. That's just hard to watch. He's getting a ladder set up outside the ring. There's a lot of directions this could go. Not sure what his plan is. Way to get out of harm there. Fisherman suplex. <laughs> Let's take a trip, Cole, shall we? Oh! To the Florida Keys. Hoist it up. Hoist it up across the shoulders into a DDT. to get back inside. example of boldness backfiring. Climbing up top, he's got big points. Perched up top. What? And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Blast off. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. He's already spending that winner's purse. I don't know what they're looking for here. He grabbed the chair. Uh, now would be a good time to run. signs of defense right now. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. 
Look at this barrage of strikes in the corner, knee after knee. win for him here. 
After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. You know, with everything Bailey has accomplished, I, I still wonder why is she just so unpleasant, so hostile all the time. Well, maybe you should just mind your business, Saxton, because you're talking about the first women's Grand Slam champion, the first women's Triple Crown winner. And not only is Bailey physical in the ring, but she can uh, beat you mentally as well. Yeah, Bailey's new attitude was very upsetting for fans who had supported Bailey for years. You include yourself in that group, Saxton, because I find it apropos when Bailey calls you an idiot. She doesn't mean it, does she? Oh yeah. Judgment Day has arrived. Balor, Priest, and Ripley, such a dominating trio. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Each member of the Judgment Day has been successful in their own right, but together they might be unstoppable. No brand, no division is safe from the wrath of Judgment Day. Yeah, and here's a scary thing. Others are starting to believe the lies the Judgment Day are spouting. against Bailey is opportunity ringing the doorbell ding dong hello hopefully this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face Primed and ready for action. Uh, more like primed and ready to look for shortcuts. Bailey is more about winning at all costs than winning the right way these days. Some role model. Byron, I don't necessarily agree with Bailey's tactics in the ring lately, but you have to admit, before her makeover, so to speak, she'd racked up plenty of accomplishments all by herself. Bailey is more than capable in the ring, and I'd like to believe she'll be ready to bring the fight here tonight. And across the ring, they call unnerving look on her face as Rhea Ripley. Now, Rhea shows no concern or remorse for her fellow superstars in the ring. She bulldozes right through anything that stands in her way. Personally, I respect Ripley's unwavering dedication to getting the win. She doesn't waste time trying to make nice with others. Instead, she fights with a purpose. That purpose is to further herself and her own career. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Bailey close line. 
Corey, if you're butting heads with Rhea Ripley, what's the most important thing to watch out for? It's got to be her ultra-aggressive streak. She's going to come at you hard with everything she's got without stopping. However, you may be able to turn that to your advantage by luring her into making a mistake in the ring. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Ripley with an opening to go high. she has in store next, it won't be pretty. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Rhea Ripley. Oh, an electric chair. 
she wants them. Here we go. With the rip time. That could end Bailey's night. Two. Last time the match and win for Rhea Ripley. Here is your winner. Love seeing her get the win. And it was a big match for her. The action we just witnessed was really something else. This is one I won't forget for a long time. A standoff here in the uh, middle of the ring. You can feel how bad these competitors are ready to go at it right now. And oh, look at this. Handshake offered and accepted. It's the calm before the storm. These two are going to go at it. Well, I know Graves isn't going to like this, but that was mutual respect between the competitors. Of course I like it. That just means they're not going to hold anything back in this matchup. This match is underway, and I have to commend them for that display of esteem between these superstars. Yeah, but that can always backfire. You can't always expect the same mutual respect from everyone you meet. Uh-oh. Misses. He must have had that scouted. must come down and it sure as hell did right there hooking it up here what's next boom incredible suplex showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Tossed by the neck. Not the position you want to be in right now. The power bomb is not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. in mind. Absolute destruction. Laid down with a power bomb. Bam! Uh-oh, pulling the hair and turning it into a match slam. He may be in a bad way here. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Saw that coming. The competitive 
spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these super... Oh, oh, For sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get destroyed. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Great reversal. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. And that was offense with a powerful purpose. Just defenseless as the momentum is against him. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Taking flight. Body splash. And able to counter. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Set right into the corner. Four! Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh, a million. Ooh! Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. See, he is feeling it now. Look at this. It's not suplex. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. Standing drop kick. It ups. Absolutely, Corey. A well-earned and deserved victory here. Yeah, Corey, it's hard to criticize someone when they embody that level of respect.